Yep, how is everybody? Uh, this is BTC versus uh, the USD. So um, our view was we had a performing head and shoulders to target, which could in fact carry on in a cyclical basis for further. Um, and this has occurred after a short rally after making the downside target. So this orange head levels was the uh, left shoulder head and right shoulder. We use a bespoke method for targeting and from whence we go, you can learn all about it. It was made on those lower wicks. You missed the rally, it traded through. And then there was a weak channel grind line and we spooled and we very close to uh, making new lows. This was the 8,000 level just run um, as part of the progress decay um, period, which you'd learn what I mean by that um, on a program with us. Anyway, long and short of this is that Bitcoin is um, going to probably have a wee rally here, but it's spilled again and is in a churn period um, after making this downside target and could further underperform to the downside. So I've continued to be accused and have the haters say that I'm always so bearish and always so short. And he's always putting out short uh, clips because he's short and he wants. That was, I think, my friend. Um, I can't recall his name anyway, um, but nonetheless, um, I'm afraid it's not the season for bullishness. I also put out a clip saying, you know, the supposed people waiting for consensus pumps are going to wait a long time. Um, this is uh, Ethereum dollar. Absolutely terrible charts uh, coming out of Ethereum dollar. Um, we died in the funnel there. If we go into melee of lines, um, I'm going to drop into a four hour and we'll see what I mean um, when you look at it. This is terribly set up. We had an inverted HVF, it's triggered, it's spilling, it's targets there. It's already uh, a third of the way to the targets, 40% even. It's not far from second inch. And more importantly, it's done exactly what Bitcoin has done. It's got a head and shoulders. It's got the classic HVF uh, left shoulder and inverted HVF right shoulder. You'll learn all about the complex and how HPs in head and shoulders are awesome. Left shoulder, head, and right shoulder. If I use the orange line, let's do it again. And we've been getting all these loom alerts about uh, this danger in our premium area. I'm sorry, I have to uh, serve my uh, main customers. And I'm also in trading to do. Um, we've had five trades, only one has been side all five profitable of late i've been actually relaxing and enjoying the market in the bigger time frame and um only but uh, i can tell you this will be an exceedingly stressful time for most people why because they're the long only brigade they're the hodl only brigade they keep hoping for what once was been they're the daylight only things. um and the in having a method and a community really can save you an awful amount of money and actually make you money when everyone else is losing and losing their rag at the market and waiting for the consensus pump and buying the narrative. But it worked three times in a row. Yes, it was a bull market three times in a row and you had a major PR event. Of course it will. Um, it's also, as I did in that clip, that McAfee isn't shouting out um, all the small micro caps to pump because guess what? No matter how hard he shouts it, nothing will pump. It's not the environment for that. It's a bearish environment and our bias has been bare and we weren't buying the rally that was even from the absolute lows on Bitcoin. Bigger, whoops, didn't mean to kill the chart. God damn it. It'll come back uh, on BTC on the bigger time frame. The rally wasn't strong enough for the nature of the fall. That euphoria it's existed hasn't returned. It's a lot of burnt fingers out there. And of course, there's a lot of control structure activity storming, um, and it isn't all good. Uh, so the, what I was referring to is on the time frame on BTC, and it is a bent from now. The scenario never went away. Low one, high one, low two, high two, and a setup for continuation to the side. People thought that's impossible. You couldn't go to two grand, especially if you're waiting 20 grand in December. Um, never say never in a highly volatile instrument. So this could still prove to be continuation. In fact, we could have even triggered. I said it from my Gatwick Airport clip. Um, it's technically possible. We haven't had uh, an idealized third impulse, 
Um, but it's technically possible your high three and low three was there and you're in a breakout now. I'd prefer to see this bottom out and give us a high three, low three, um, but it might need to dip a little lower to give us a really idealized inverted with a flat bottom. Um, and that's, you know, that's a little bit of what you'd learn in terms of the analysis and the updates in terms of the community. And you would be biasing to bear and also standing back and trading less and, and going on to the big time frames and looking for judicious shorts. And guess what? You'd be adding to your fiat valuation as well as your BTA, BTC valuation. As opposed to hodlers that are just watching BTC value, BTC value drop, whereas they hold the alts that are losing to BTC, um, and they watch BTC value drop in fiat terms. It's losing on both fronts now for the hodler brigade. Uh, and I'm sorry, this is not good. And we have our targets for you with the amounts. You could find out all about what they are. So um, this is Ripple, one that I love to short. <laughs> I th I've only made, uh, traded it long once and it was very early in my crypto career on a major HVF and it paid me as well. Uh, in fact, most of the other times I've been short on uh, Ripple. Um, but it, no, it's not quite pay. And you can't be short uh, anytime you like. Um, but in this season, it's certainly given us some great structure and it looks to me like it's triggered and I'm thinking um, it's got more to give us so we'll see um, on that but our, at the moment actually Ethereum is probably the thickest of the canaries um, this little um, uh, aviary of our cryptos um, it is pro properly underperforming in fact um, this uh, uh, ripple is slightly gaining ground against the theory. This is called 360 degree analysis. I've looked at the fiats. I've looked at whether you should accumulate it against euro or the others. Um, I've checked the euro. We naturally, um, uh, FX traders look for the crypto market existed, but broadly the euro is in a downtrend here. So you'd probably want to stay with the dollar option. As you main gain, this was the key value of the time. We actually at one point not so long ago were also as a hedge going long Ethereum against Bitcoin. Yep. And then we stalled at the interim, we got a grind line, stalled at the interim in the grind line, and we timed out. And guess what? You got out there. You would have got in here and you still made money on what's probably going to turn out a losing trade. Um, why time stops? You'll learn all about them on a program. And you watch them implemented, you'll be able to implement them along with the rest of us. So uh, that's uh, that's the nature of the game. Um, that's where we're at. It's uh, not a long season. It is a bear season. And any of these would do a bit of a return move. Um, I will be able to load up. I didn't get as many prizes as I wanted. These were very subtle threes. And um, we know there's been threes because they've already run the twos. The relative low twos. And they've gone super impulsive. So the news is terrible for cryptos and in crypto land um, in terms of price behavior. It doesn't matter what people are saying and trying to talk some optimism in and pointing out that three times before there was a major consensus event and the market moved. The, the market just makes sure no one does anything stupid and then goes and does what it's going to do. That's my theory um, in all events and it's not necessarily about uh, the news. We watched this first little head and shoulder occur on our target as neckline. We watched that target get made with a sell-off. We saw that grind line form. We've got nestled heads and shoulders with big, big targets that all the guys have in the community. Anyway, so it's not a good time. If you're a hodler, you're going to sweat it and you're going to hate it until you learn there's a better way. There's a better method and it doesn't have to be pain. You don't have to watch your fiat valuation go down. The BTC valuation go down. I'm talking to guys that were in seven digit numbers that are on like uh, 200 grand now. Um, that's a lot to give back 80%. And guess what? In an environment where Bitcoin has fallen 75% from their high water mark and the alts have fallen in the 80s, um, the average guy is going to be in that situation or gal for that matter. Um, it's not a gender statement. So, uh, you know, maybe it's time you learned. You could actually be making money in this environment and relaxing. And that's the nature of the game. And in, unfortunately, in a long-only game, everyone's a hero. 
um, and thinks they're talented and a trader. And then they get this rude awakening and they don't get the real message. You need a method. You need a method to recognize the super macro uh, game. Anyway, um, I say this so often, I must make a broken record. So, um, But I'm hoping sometimes you need to hear something a few more times um, to really say, I can't take it anymore. I don't need to be doing this. Um, you know, maybe, maybe the cost of a program, instead of watching $50,000 wash away, $100,000 or few hundred thousand dollars as some have, and some of uh, even watching 10 or 12 go away, it's much better to be alert and uh, to get regular updates and to make sure you've got your macro bias correct um, and see where the opportunities are. Anyway, so end of the register for, um, it's not about what you make, it's about what you keep webinar, AKA Defense Wins Championships. Um, it's free, there's an offer for the serious, don't come, it's not for everyone. Um, if you're not uh, serious about uh, developing your wealth, um, utilizing and other markets, by the way, we've also cycled in and we're watching our FX and our equities a bit more. For those that want to practice, everyone comes with a bull bias. I can give them bullish markets to be bull biased about. Um, and when they're ready to short, they can come to this market. Um, and that's how it is. Instead of watching people blow themselves up, they can practice in the right place where actually they don't hang themselves. Okay, um, enough of that. Uh, hope you're all enjoying it. Hopefully it makes sense why I've been some so circumspect uh, about embracing the excessive bullishness. Um, you can nick the occasional upside when BTC is holding up um, on a short time frame, but it's dangerous, like collecting pennies in front of steam rollers, as I sometimes say, um, trade with the macro trend, gentlemen, trade with the macro trend. Uh, and remember, a cyclical head and shoulders turn doesn't mean just the target gets made, it can press on lower cyclically. Yes, you get a bit of pushback post the targets, um, but that doesn't mean it's ended. And for those calling inverted head and shoulders over here with the little left shoulder, the head and the right shoulder, you see, you did a couple of things wrong there. And I've tried to walk about it, but um, in my time helping my community more uh, than free views on YouTube, I'm afraid I have to do that. And I look forward and I enjoy doing it. Um, you, uh, you got a little trigger push through on a neckline on what you thought was a left a head and a right, but you don't have the context of the market. A, you shouldn't trade reversals without an HVF, no HVF and a reversal. B, you shouldn't be trading long in a market that is bias bull, uh, bias bear, which is choppy to bear bias. What happens? You get your little break, it fizzles and it runs your stop, which should be under the right shoulder and you're out with a loss. And you say, oh, patterns don't work. No, understanding the macro analysis and the environment for which patterns you should take. You should always come to a market with one-sided um, approach. We'll be taking bullish patterns, it's a bullish trend. We'll be taking bearish patterns that are continuation, it's a bearish trend. Um, we won't be taking reversals, A, that's a big lose, uh, and B, which are long in what is a weak market. Um, and you know, you're just undermining it. You're just trying to swim upstream when you don't have to, you can swim downstream to a, a different town, um, with nicer food. Anyway, uh, that's me done. Um, hope it makes sense. And, uh, you know, if you are battling, um, and it is hurting, I have empathy for you. I've been there as a trader and I enjoy helping people get better, but you have to respect me. You have to respect the rest of the community that are there and going to support you as well. Um, and you have to invest and you'll find that those huge losses that you are racking up um, in frustration by trying to play a long game in a, in a bear market uh, can go away. And in fact, the smile and pleasure can return to that which you do. Okay. Uh, and all this said, the market can still rally and churn and chop a little bit from uh, here um, for BTC. But I would say the setups on Ethereum and Ripple, um, I'm fairly optimistic about them and I'm prepared to add to positions. Okay, that's me done.